I'm going to show you how you can scrape anything you would want in an N8N -N workflow, anything from Facebook groups to LinkedIn posts to YouTube videos, you name it. So the platform we're going to use for this purpose is Appify, which is a platform basically hosting many different types of scrapers. So the thing you can do is you can sign up for Appify and you'll come over to the console. And in here, you will have the option to pick between over 3000 different scrapers, which you can use to basically make a request in your edit and workflow. So when you come over to the console, you will have this store here where you can search for anything you want. YouTube, as you can see, YouTube scrapers, YouTube uh, transcript scrapers, YouTube short scrapers, YouTube video downloader even. But for the purpose of this video, we will just use the Google Maps. Let's do some Google Maps emails uh, using the Google Maps email extractor. Let's try that one. And in here, you will always get some different options to how you want your scraper to run inside of the input when you are on the actor or the scraper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and as you can see, we can scrape restaurants. But for this video, we will try to scrape realtors. Uh, so we can say realtors in Miami. I have, before this video, I made a little Google sheet right here, as you can see, which uh, says realtors in Miami. We want to try to get the business name, email, phone, and website from different realtors in Miami. So we can just say realtors Miami. And just for the testing, we will try to do three places. And as you can see up here, it costs $9 per thousand results, but you get a $5 free usage, as you can see down here on Appify. So each month, so you get $5 each, each month, which should be more than enough for uh, at least for testing. So we can just set this to three. Uh, so you can just set this to three places to search uh, for realtors in Miami. And once you are happy with your search, you can come over to integration. This will work for any uh, scraper on Appify. So you don't have to uh, look up for another tutorial on your specific scraper, go to use API endpoints. Then we want to uh, come down to run actor synchronously and get data set items, which will basically do all of the operations we need for to basically get the data set items uh, inside of our N8N &N workflow. So we don't have to use more nodes than we need to. And it also has our API token baked in right here. So we don't need to configure that manually. So you can just click on copy here and we can come back over to n and we can create a new scenario. Basically, we can just delete this at a first step, which we can trigger manually. And then we can add a HTTP request. There we go. And in here, we want to paste the URL we just copied. I'm just going to not show you my API key. So I'll be back in a second. There you go. Now I pasted my URL in here and I have my API key. If you paste your own URL, you will see your API key at the end of the URL. So you don't have to configure that, as I said. And then we want to send a body, which is basically the, sp the specifics of what we want our scraper to do, which we set in our settings here in Appify. So if we cross out of this one and we come back over to input. And in here we have, we can click on the JSON, which has the basically the different parameters we want to use for our scraper. Like we said, max places uh, per search was three and we said Miami and we said realtors in our manual here. So take this JSON and copy it. And we head back over to our N8N workflow and we want to be using JSON, yes. And we want to then just paste that JSON right in here. And then what we can do is we can actually test this step. And now we'll get some data back out from Appify. There we go. And as you can see, we got our three items. And what we wanted here was specifically the, as you can see, we get the title, the category name, which is nice. We get the city and we get the website, which is super nice. And also the phone and form, phone and formatted, which is Nice because we can use that in a different type of operation where we basically call the phone, the phone number automatically or something like that. And we also get the emails. If we can find it, there we go. 
we have the emails uh, or one email at least for this business and for the next one, if we can find that one. There we go. We have two emails for the next business and let's see what we got for the last business. If we got any emails here, we got two emails there as well. Very nice. So what we can now do with this output is we need to basically, let me turn on my camera again. There we go. We need to format this data so we can use it and, and basically put that data into a Google Sheet. So we need to search for split out. And this will basically split out that array we got from the HTTP request. So we need to set um, the field that we want to split out uh, as the title. We do not have to use the title, but I prefer to use the title. There we go. My camera is back on again. I really didn't need to get a new camera. Uh, and then we need to select other fields or I want to select other fields because I want to use some specific fields, which we also can get as our output. So you take whatever you want from this HTTP output. Uh, and we would like to, as well as the title, we want to have, let's see here, we want to have the address and we want to have the category. That could be nice. We want to have the city they are in and we want to also have the website and phone and formatted as i said very nice for automations etc and we also want the email so if we can find the email there we go email so we only want to take the first email because we don't need more than one email turn my, turn my camera on again there we go and now we can test this step to see what the output is. And as you can see, it is now nicely formatted here in an array, which we can now use for our uh, Google Sheet. And my camera goes again. <laughs> okay, now we can try to uh, basically put this into a Google Sheet. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, Google Sheet. Uh, there we go. And we want to add a row or append a row in sheet. And we want to use the sheet. And you also want to connect to Google Sheet. If you do not have uh, connected to your Google Sheets account, you just click uh, on create new credential and you just need to sign in with Google right here and then click on save. And then you want to find the sheet and we need to find it from this list right here. And that was Realtors in Miami. We do not need to open the link, but we need to use the document and we want to choose sheet one, which was the name of the sheet. And then we want to map and we don't need to map uh, based on row number. That's if we update a uh, row, we only want to append new rows so we can just, so we don't need to map that out. And we want the business name to be the title and we want the, let me see what the next one was. We want the email to be the first email we got from the emails. And then we want the phone to be phone unformatted. And then we want the website to be the website. And then we can test this step. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we got a nice output, which means that the, the which means that the, that data was added to our Google Sheet. And as you can see in here, it was very, very nice. So that is basically how you can scrape anything. You can just uh, use another scraper in Appify or yeah, basically whatever you, you want to scrape data in, uh, in Appify, whatever type of data you want. Uh, and as I said, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.